So yeah. now everything is, so it can rain here for a couple of weeks, can have all the surface water go, and then for five or six days later, the springs are rising up. So all my beds now are pointing the opposite direction and they're raised to take the water away. Uh -huh. So this is for sale in your shop in for the next sale in week. Our shop. So we have scallions and we have a bit of we've lettuce. Oh, you've got a lot of spinach. Your spinach is oh, your spinach is gorgeous. And you let some yeah. of this go to seed and collect the seed? Um off of the stuff in here, not. We've collected uh, lettuce seed one or two years, but the main seeds we collect would be our turnip seeds. We collect um turnip seed, some lettuce seed, kale seed. We, we'd be very big into saving the seed as much as we can. Right. And I'm a seed guardian with seed savers in County Clare. What is the plant that's sprouting up? Uh, that is... Um, yeah. I don't really recognize it. I can't it. think of the name of it. It's uh, it's very invasive. And I brought it in with cow manure Not from well. another organic farmer about six years ago. <laughs> and I just put the cow manure into the tunnel. And... Um, yeah. yeah, so I stopped bringing in. Does so you learned a, about composting. Does it have a network of roots on It does, the networks of roots to come out and shoot up. So okay. usually what I do when I clear out here, I'll give the place a flea and weed and keep it down. Uh -huh. And then I use mulches. And what we do is we grow wheat grass as well. And we grow yeah. and juice wheat grass and we sell it frozen yeah. online. And we sell it in the shop. So I create a solid uh, bed. So I take my, um, my unit outside and I spread my compost. I put the, the wheat grass seed on top of it and 